Greetings and welcome to Spine and Shine. If it's your first time, I am Sandra Roberts, the Sand Goddess. Here at Spine and Shine, we are encouraging Black women to stand, speak, live in their organic truth without apologies. You see, I've tweaked that a little bit, huh? I figured the other was too long. For spirituality and history and healing, it sounds good, but all those things pretty much run together. The point of this is just to speak your truth, whatever it is. I find that a lot of us want somebody to say what we're thinking. We all are looking for a reason to explain who we are, why we are the way we are, why we do what we do. I believe, despite our parents, what they do, what they don't do, what they've said, or didn't say what they taught us or did you can have a parent do everything and a child will still decide to do something else did they provide a safe enough environment for you to decide to become what spirit wanted you to become blaming and holding on to pain and holding our parents hostage for something that we know we wanted to do ourselves or didn't do it. It's not responsible. At a certain age, you know right from wrong pretty early, very early as a matter of fact. We already know. When you're ready to heal, you start looking at yourself. I have been told so many times that I need to learn patience. Patience. Even here in Belize, I put myself on this timeline. I've been stressing about it. It's gonna happen when it's supposed to happen. I met some people who I thought were you serious about some things that they want to do. And they have big positions in terms of business. I even heard this before coming to Belize. I know one thing you have to be patient about is the business. Business is handled differently. They operate at their own pace. You can't bring your, you know, American impatience and your time clock to Belize. Horsepower mentality. You're from the States. Gotta get it done. We gotta check off lists inside of yada yada. Keep saying, girl, you keep telling other sisters to relax when you are still racing a clock that nobody has put you on. You're not even on a clock. You got your own clock. The clock you created for yourself. But still, you got a deadline that's stressing you when it's supposed to happen. It happens. And it happens when you least expect it. working hard, really hard to find information. One day, I was walking down the beach, ran into a sister who I had met. I do think things work for a reason. But there's the curve bar I mentioned to you in one video. And there's the city river there. Let's go back, let's, let's go there. Let's go there. The last trip I took you on, and then another video, but we didn't go down. We kept straight down. But here's the curve bar and the city river right here. just says you know you've been ripping and running and doing all this why not just ask her this was meant to be there are no coincidences that one meeting casual meeting walking down the beach she made one phone call and it was done now i have been ripping running meeting people she made the call right there and it was a wrap Come out of these trees, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be running. Sis, I said all that to say, it doesn't happen the way we expect it to happen or when we expect it to happen. We're not in control. We can only be prepared for when it happens. We can't control what's gonna happen. So whatever you're working on right now, it's gonna happen. It's about making the preparation because you honestly just don't know when it's going to happen or who exactly is gonna make it happen. And that won't have anything to do with how bad or good your parents were to you. We're born in this life. It's our life. It's our journey. You know, meant to do, we're gonna do, despite 
any of those challenges or despite any of the advantages. Journey is ours to take and not looking for reasons as to why we're not doing what we're supposed to do because somebody didn't provide so somebody didn't do this. Even if they're our parents. Patience is something I personally have to learn. I am pretty carefree. I have a tendency to move sometimes without thinking it all through. I just go and the spirit, or what I think is the spirit telling me to go. And I feel very confident and safe in doing so. I do rush things. While I'm rushing, I could be relaxing and just trusting the process. But somewhere in that, I feel like if I'm not making it happen, putting action behind it, there's something lazy about that. And I don't deserve what happens because I didn't work hard enough for it. I don't want to just fall in my lap. I want to feel like, well, I earned this. I paved the way or I made that connect or I paid my dues. It's like there's the payment. Like I gotta have the payment to justify why I'm receiving. Otherwise, I feel uncomfortable about the gift. Can I trust it? What do you want in return for this? Oh, I didn't work hard enough for this. And it lends itself to the same thing, I think, even in relationships. A woman, a sister goes through something and we're like, oh, I just wish that they just get the love they deserve and love they deserve because they've worked so hard and they've been through so much. And, and it's like, well, so does the person who didn't go through a lot and where love just kind of fell in their lap, you know, or it was a perfect union from the very beginning. They didn't have to go through a whole bunch of, you know, frogs to get to their prince. I mean, do we have to kiss a lot of frogs, a lot of destruction, a lot of bad mistakes, a lot of stuff to just be blessed? To just be like, you know what? This gift is mine. This, this Let me take that. I'll take it. No problem. That's for me. Oh, thank you. I did absolutely nothing to deserve this, but hey, the spirit, the universe blessed me because I'm just special like that. I'm beautiful like that. You know, I think Hollywood sells that too. It's that rags from riches story. Oh, oh, they deserve it's like a happy ending. We just, we, you know, it's the underdog thing. And then like, if they didn't deserve it, it's like, well, they didn't deserve it. Somebody else that really deserved it, that worked hard. Da, 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 they could have, they could have, they deserve that. They could have, well, how do we measure what hard work is? How is it measured? Who's measuring it? Are the people who are really getting all the money now, are they doing all the hard work, heavy lifting? Most jobs that really get paid, they don't do any heavy lifting and hard work. The people who get paid less do the hard work. So did they deserve it? But they're benefiting from it. Just keep walking past gifts because we feel we don't deserve them. Because we didn't work hard enough. We don't trust the process. And we don't trust the people that are given the gift. I didn't suffer hard enough to get this relationship. Oh my God, he's doing this. He does that. Oh my God, something's wrong. This job is perfect. I didn't suffer. I didn't go through the ranks. I don't deserve this. This house, oh my God. My credit score, I messed up my credit score. How did I deserve this? Whatever it is. See? We feel like not all of us, some of y'all will have no problem saying, thank you, I'll take it, I got it, and ain't done shit. And you all right with that. So I got to check my faith on that. If you feel, really and truly feel like everything works in God's order and as planned, it's God's plan. If you really believe that, no matter what it is or how tragic it is, you won't question it. If you really, truly believe in God's plan, you won't question it. Trust the process is what I'm trying to tell myself. Trust the process, have patience. Accept not having to work so hard for something in order to feel like you deserve it or not having to suffer before you get it. You know, plenty of people that are being rewarded for things that you know good and damn well they didn't work hard for and they are living their best life for some reason we as black people, especially black women, feel like we got to be suffering in order to deserve something. I'm finding a theme in my own videos, which is really about my own self-discovery. You know, you can talk, but the healing blessing that you need or that you think other people need is really for you. And mine is patience, letting it happen and not feeling like I'm being lazy or that I'm not working hard enough for Like I said, you really don't control it. You can only be prepared to receive it. That's all, you got to be prepared to receive it and whatever that preparation is, mental, physical, spiritual, spiritually, physically, mentally, you got to be ready to receive it. Not just prepared so that you know what to do and you know 
how to handle it. I mean, I'm just speaking, just being able to handle it. Accepting it emotionally, knowing that you deserve it. Otherwise, we sabotage it. Once again, enjoy not suffering. Don't sabotage it. When it comes your way, don't even question it. Just know that you got it. You got it because you are who you are and that's what God intended for it to be. It's for you. That self-doubt, that worrying starts. You grab on and hold on to whatever it is that's gonna help you to remember who you are and who God is. Take it and run with it. This has been Sandra Roberts, the same goddess, spine and shine. Hit that notification button so that you know when I'm uploading a video. Hit subscribe if you just want to spend time discussing mainly black women. I'm not ready to let blackness go. I know there's some of you out there who are like, our race is an illusion. The very fact of addressing this to black women is ludicrous because we are not black. I'm holding on to being a woman and I'm holding on to being black. This video is still about black women. The day I let it go, I will be the first to let you know. I appreciate you joining me for whatever time and for however long you stayed. Of course, the longer you stay, the better it is for my channel. To all my subscribers, you better know I appreciate you. I do. You didn't have to click subscribe, so I appreciate you. There is a video that I watched. The sister was talking about violence because she did some pretty important research. It was very thorough and she took it back in history. I actually think it goes back to kind of what I said. Black women, not all of us, but too often we feel like we gotta suffer. Even if a brother ain't kicking our ass physically, we feel like we gotta go through something in order for us to feel like it's real or that it's ride or die or that it's, it's ooh, this is, this is deep. Even if it's not physical pain, it's some type of drama or some kind of stress. Gotta hang in there with him through thick and thin. Just take all kind of shit before we can feel like we deserve for somebody to settle down, choose us. So I want to know what you think about that in terms of my next video. I'll explore more after I watch it again. How our perceptions or how we feel that our suffering has to come before being treated well. Feel like we have to suffer before we find any good in a lot of things. Back to what I mentioned earlier. Do we really have to suffer? Is that connected to the religion? Jesus suffered. We gotta suffer. Shy. We gotta do all this suffering before we can be happy. How much of that is connected to religion? Our thoughts of not feeling like we deserve it unless we've earned it and we've worked hard and we've oh, how much of that has to do with the domestic violence that's a recipe right there for an abuser like, i'm not saying that the abuser is no longer responsible time. i'm saying that if we look at what we bring mentally to that situation maybe we can work to see how best to resolve it or to protect ourselves because an abuser who feels like you love to be abused will abuse you and justify the abuse by saying that's what you wanted. Oh, he, he hit me so he must love me. Do we really have to suffer?